Hey, Toonami faithful. Since we spend so much time together in space, I thought, why not learn a little more about it? And who better to teach us than genius astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson? I went to one of his lectures, and I'm bringing you with me. Hey, Toonami. Going to see Neil deGrasse Tyson. Look, the satellite. Now, as an educator, he can't help himself but to talk about scientific inaccuracies in movies. It's one of his favorite things to do, which he tends to tweet about a lot. And it's gotten him in a little bit of trouble. Here's a little sample. The TIE fighters made exactly the same sound in the vacuum of space as in planetary atmosphere. If I'm gonna give you the sound in the vacuum of space where there is no sound, then at least make a different sound going through the air. In a vacuum of space. Give me something else on Earth. That's what, that's what's just that's just me. Okay. What else did I do? BB-8, a smooth rolling medical metal spherical ball, would have skidded uncontrollably on sand. Now I start feeling the ire of the Star Wars fan base. <laughs> And because it was a room full of nerds, who shows up but Bill Nye the Science Guy? Awesome! Well, thanks for coming to my talk. Oh no, it is we who must thank you. No, but you live in like New York now, and yes. I'm like, traveling here, so I, this was an unexpected surprise. No, it's great to see you, and uh, we love Mars because it's uh, so much like the Earth, and it is very reasonable to me that there was once something alive there. Uh -huh. And perhaps there is something alive there now. But so it's not that it's so much like Earth. It's that it's less not like Earth than any other. Country. Yeah, I'll give you yes. Okay, that's good. Yes. <laughs> less not like Earth. You can't look. There's no food. Uh, if you uh, if you go to look for water, very very difficult. And you will notice right away. There's nothing to breathe. Yeah, that's a, that's a non that right away. Away. Yeah, so these guys, I want to go live on Mars and live off the land. <laughs> in this segment, he talked about how the night sky over one of the key scenes in the movie Titanic was actually the wrong sky. They capitalized, this is the Daily Mail, this is like a Brit. The Brits don't exaggerate, right? They, they capitalized 10. And it kept making its rounds. School of fail. Neil guy says it's fixing Hollywood one movie at a time. Neil guy says a gut check them to fix the ever distracting Titanic Starfield. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to look up at the sky at night. Check out the stars. They're always there waiting for you. See you next time on the Bloom Room.